Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. So today I will discuss about HTML, frame, frame set, frame attribute, nested frame sets. I am Dr. Asutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University. The learning outcome of this lecture is to understand the frame set tag, column example, frame set tag, rows example, border margin and scrolling. However, in previous lecture we have discussed about introduction to hyperlinks, hyperlinks example link to the same document. So many more other topics we have covered. We have covered how to create frame, how to write program to divide a screen into different frames, different rows as well as different columns. So first of all the frame tag placed between the frame set. So you can see in this example we have frame set column, we have frame set row and in between we have frame. So uh, we will have the frame. So these are the frame, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3. This is called frame. So uh, again SRC attribute specify the file that will appear the frame. So here frames are blank but when we write the path of any source file then these frame will display the images as well as any figure GIF any video here. So uh, SRC will indicate the source SRC attribute. In the following example page that will appear the top frame is the file f1.html and the page will appear in the lower frame of the f1.html. So here this is the program frame set rows 80% comma star means the first row uh, having the size 80% and the second one will be the 20% and here inside this frame source equals to f1 top html and f1 dash second dot html so these two html file will be displayed in first row and as well as in second row and the size of first row will be 80% size of second row will be the 20% remaining size is 20%. So this is also a code. So here one more program. In this program columns is divided into 20% and 80%. So you can see the output also. The first part is the 20% and second part is 80%. So we have mentioned here 20% comma 80%. Frame set rows 30%. Now in the first row see the output again. The first row is divided into two parts. So here the first row uh, is divided 30 comma 70 percent 30 comma asterisk asterisk means here 70 percent the remaining part is 70 percent 30 percent comma 70 percent. So you can see here frame 1 is a 30 percent and frame 2 is 70 percent. So uh, again inside the column we have divided two columns column 1 and column 2 column 1 having the size 20 percent and again this column 1 is divided into into two parts 30 percent and 70 percent and in these two parts we have f1 and f2 there are two source files the f1 frame 1 f2 for indicate the frame 2 first frame we will display f1.html in frame 2 we will display here f2.gif gif file and in frame 3 frame src f3.html so this is third frame frame 3 here we will display f3.html. Uh, so this third file will be displayed in the second frame and second frame is not divided into um, further divided into parts. So uh, this is frame set. Now see this example also here we have divided the screen into number of frames. So first of all it is divided into two columns 50% comma asterisk means divided into equal two part and the first part is first column is divided into 50 percent comma 50 percent means two same parts same row first column is divided into two rows and in first row 
we have frame one dot html in second row we have frame two dot html we can source here HTML file as well as GIF file. You can see here we have f1.html, it is HTML file and f2.gif is GIF file. In place of HTML file, we can mention here in source GIF file also. Now see the second row, frame set rows equals to 33% comma 33% comma asterisk means equally divided into three part and in each three part we have three frames, frame src equals to frame three, frame four and frame 5 dot html so these three frame will be display here in the second column in the second part of this frame now again one more example so here you can see so i am giving here many example so you can understand the concept very easily so in this example again you can see here uh, frame set row 20% comma 80% it will display the output of window first row will be 20% and second row second part is 80% now first row is will be divided into two equal frame set columns here first we are dividing the screen into rows and then we are dividing further we are dividing into column but in this example we are dividing screen into two columns then we are dividing each column into different rows so this is uh, again same program but uh, uh, the division is different in first one is we are dividing first column in here we are dividing first rows so the first row that is 20 percent so uh, again it is divided into two equal part and uh, the first part having f1 dot talk dot html and second one is the f1 dash second dot html so these two will be displayed into first row and in second row again we are dividing into two columns first column having 60 percent space and second one will be 40 percent the remaining will be 40 percent so 60 percent comma 40 percent so frame src f2 talk dot html and f2 dash second dot html so these two parts these two files will be displayed in each part so this is the example of frame set now we can mention the frame border also suppose we are mentioning the frame border one then the border will be visible or if we are mentioning zero then it will hide the border so in this example you can see the border so this may be one but suppose we will mention it zero then border will not appear and only different frames will appear so uh, this is happening in recent day websites so the each frame will be displayed but borders will not be displayed on the page so it is hidden so you can see the example also frame src home dot html its name is main and frame border is zero so then in this case the there will be no border will be appeared but border is there border will be hidden so to create borderless frame add the frame border attribute to the frame tag and uh, we can also mention the scrolling frame so scrolling yes no we can mention here suppose we are mentioning yes so uh, it will display the scroll bar uh, no then it will not display the scroll bar and auto as per the requirement it will uh, add the scroll bar in any page so suppose we have multiple borders and one uh, multiple frames you can see in this example in this example we have five frames suppose frame one is larger than its size so then we require the scroll bar so in that case uh, this attribute is re required so scrolling attribute to frame tag controls whether the scroll bar will appear or not so you can see how uh, this scroll bar will appear the example is given in the bottom line frame src equals to ex.html name is ex and frame border zero and scrolling no it means there will be no scroll bar otherwise if we write here yes then it will display the scroll bar so this is again one more program here the frame set 30 percent 40 percent and 30 percent so it will divide the frame into three columns and first column will display demo one dot html and second column uh, will be divided into three different rows demo 4 demo 6 and demo 7 are these three frames and these frame will be appeared on the middle part that is uh, having size 40 percent so these three will be displayed over there 
and the third line you can see frame src equals to demo 3 dot html so third column will display demo 3 dot html it will not further subdivide it so this is one more example of this frame set now finally after listening this lecture the learning outcome of this lecture learner will be able to create and practically implement frame set tag columns and frame set tag row border margin and scrolling and dear learner in next lecture we will discuss about html table table attribute rows and columns thank you learner thank you thank you very much